Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Christian Patrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker and Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! Oh! Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And Lydia, aka Malu, is not here today, but she was here last week. So if you missed that, That's go right. check out that episode. Uh, appreciate her kind of updating us on her life. And uh, yes, she still loves everyone. She's just not going to be on every episode because she's very busy right now with a lot of time constraints and stuff he's hustling um, hard hustling hard so um our review of the uh symphonic boy band will be in next week's episode but this week it's what holiday are we at at least in easter Florida? easter baby so i know not happy easter to it. all who celebrate during this time happy easter uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, in Canada, Easter is an, a federal holiday. So we do get Good Friday off, which was great because that's when we got to go watch the uh, boy band symphony. And we have Easter Sunday off and in some places give the Monday off. So kind of fun. Nice little long weekend in the springtime when the weather is hopefully better and, you know, looking forward yes. to that stuff. So hopefully there's yes. no more snow. Fingers crossed. Okay, so um, we have not played a game in a little while, so I don't think we've actually ever played this for Easter. I know we've played it for like Valentine's and Christmas and stuff like that. I think so, we did. Uh, would you rather possibly uh, for Easter? Well, this is basically. I think we were like. I think we were painting eggs when we did that. Would oh yes, I still have those eggs. They're still in my yeah. office, which we will be moving out of soon because my workplace is moving downtown to a less desirable place than it currently is but the building that we're currently in is way too big for us and um yeah they're gonna sell the building anyway so we need to move and then people not from the hamilton area determine where we should move our offices and it's in a sketchy part of downtown hamilton so hopefully oh, no. but there's underground parking and stuff so and there's like it's right wide thing and if any concerts and stuff are happening it's right there so it's just you know it's not a place that so pros and cons pros and cons there's a lot of traffic so it'd be hard to get in and out of the office so i'm sure it'll be fine it'll be all good Fingers Anyways, crossed uh, it's going, goes well yes yeah, so i should take the eggs out of my cubicle and bring it because that was mm -hmm. quite some time ago and our paint brushes yes. were like super crap and could not yes. paint well at all so not at all painted little abs on her boy banders it was uh, quite the yeah it was quite the adventure quite the adventure to be painting and talking for sure yeah. um so we're kind of just going back to our traditional uh online stopwatch where we pit we put in 32 of our top boy bands um members in so just to recap we have backstreet boys in sync new kids on the block o town 98 degrees jonas brothers and one direction so there's 32 names in there we put in 16 fun easter activities and now we are going to determine who we would rather do these activities with yes Basically, it's always a good time when we do this game yes so Feel free to play along in the comments. Tell us who you would do the activity with and uh, why. So yeah, so there you go. Make sure you're following us on all of our social medias. Uh, Boy Band Break, B-O-Y-B-A-N-D-B-R-E-A-K. So we are on obviously YouTube, um, Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you listen to podcasts, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, but we still have to. We really need to. We really need to reinstate our TikTok and do some stuff there. We have I maybe think, one day days. it will happen. One of these days we will figure out technology. So as yes. of now, that's that's what we have. So anyway, so uh, first up, okay. So I'm just going to present my screen, and hopefully it doesn't crash like it usually does. But hopefully it'll be enough for you to see things. So fingers yeah. crossed, we're good here. And fingers crossed, it doesn't oh. freeze on us yes 
of what did I have first? The eggs or did you choose oh, I did uh, the eggs or ones? I did this backwards. Hold on. Uh, you know what? We'll just keep it this way. That's fine. Um, so the cog machine is going to pick up the name of the boy bander and then the egg is going to show us the activity. So I had originally done it the other way, but oh, it is what it is. Okay. Um, but then it crashed. It's fine. Oh, gosh, so I had to read it. Okay. So all good. Here we are. Possibly. Slowly. <sighs> There is our cog machine. Okay, so first up, first boy band member is dun, 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 AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. All right, so we got AJ, and then we have Danny Wood from New Kids on the Block. So, uh, okay, so AJ and Danny. If you've listened to the podcast, and you already know my decision is let's see what this cute little chicken gives us we forgot to turn off the sound okay go on a hike Don't. so would we rather Ooh. go on a hike with aj from the backstreet boys or dan from kids on the block so did you want to go first okay sure um if you have Can listened to the podcast um you know who i would choose between these two members I'm going to choose AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. I think it would be very interesting to go on a hike with AJ. I just think it would be fun. For Something sure. to do. I don't know. His knees are, I don't know if their knees, his knees are working. So maybe I would have to like give him a piggyback up the hiking trail. Who knows? Aw, so cute. Wasn't See? it in the documentary where AJ was having issues climbing up the uh, hill? Yes, that is correct. Cause, and then he was like, my so, name. So it could be fun. Mm -hmm. For sure. So what I I am also going to pick AJ for a slightly similar but different reason. So as we know, Danny Wood from New Kids on the Block is a very, very big into fitness and is a very buff man. Very energetic. I am not. So I feel like Danny would be like, let's hike this crazy ass trail that goes up a mountain and stuff. And I'd be like, bro, let's go at a slower pace. AJ's a smoker. I feel like he's more weak. No offense. Well, obviously he's working on stuff. But I feel like it would be a better pace, better pace with AJ. And I feel yeah. like I wouldn't feel like I was dying and I would actually be able to enjoy the hike. So yes. that, and you could look around with AJ. He would probably be like, oh, look at the trees. Look at this. He would be one with nature, I think, possibly. Do you think that I should just stop sharing the screen so we see and then just like tell you verbally what it is? Because I feel like it keeps freezing. Yes, like. because it keeps pop. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so I don't want the sound to sound like crap. So, okay, telling you. Okay, so now we're off of the sharing. Hopefully that works better. Um, yes. Are we good? You can hear For me. For some reason, good? when we do that, it always All right, so I'm just going to say it. I know. I feel like my internet connection, there's something like wonky or maybe there's too much going on or my computer is just crap because it's an old computer. So I'll just verbally say things and then you can just remind, uh, ask for a reminder if you don't hear it. Okay. okay. So next up on the cog machine names, we have uh, Jordan Knight from New Kids on the Block versus... Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees. Love Jeff. All right, let's see what He's the great. options are. Okay, so Jordan versus Jeff. And who would you rather do a race slash scavenger hunt in with? So you're like finding all these clues, but you're also racing. So it's not like a full race where you have to like go like crazy and then, you know, like a marathon because again, I am weak and not fit. So I decided to add the scavenger element. So we got to find clues and things like that. So would you rather do that with Jordan Knight from New Kids on the Block or Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees? I'm going to choose Jeff Timmons. I think he's a lot of fun. I think he would make the scavenger hunt fun. He would, it would be exciting once we win. So 
I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. I feel like Jeff is a little more fit than Jordan, so he might be a little faster, but I feel like he's a good, encouraging, positive yeah. guy. And I think he but would motivate have, you to keep going. I think so. I think he would be very motivating and I feel like he would be good at kind of like solving things. I feel like Jordan would probably also be good at solving things, but I feel like he would be like a lot more calm and slow. And I feel um, like if we're in like a race to win, we should like get yes. that. So yes. Yeah, so Jeff Timmons for the win on that one. All right. Yeah. Look at that. We're two for two matching answers. Woo -hoo. Oh, man. All right. Next up, we have John Knight from New Kids on the Block versus Brian Littrell from the Backstreet Boys. So our respective favorites. All right, what are we doing with them? <laughs> Having a picnic. So would you rather have a picnic with John Knight from New Kids on the Block or Brian Littrell from the Backstreet Boys? I would enjoy a picnic with Brian Littrell from the Backstreet Boys. I think it would be very entertaining. He could take us um, on his fun spots that he enjoys, makes food for us. You can have like some sandwiches, some um, salads or veggies. Like I think he would make it a good time. All right, yeah, sounds fair. Do you think his fam jam would join you on this picnic as well? Or do you think he'd be allowed to just go by himself? Um, I think they would uh, enjoy it as well, but maybe this time he would just go by himself because it's a nice weather day. Maybe Bailey um, went on a concert as well and his mom went and then Brian was like, okay, let, for this event, we will just go for the picnic. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pick John Knight for this, obviously, because I love John. Um, here's here's my semi-reasoning behind this, which is really dumb. Um, but John is a very handy man, right? He can build things. He can do all that stuff. So I feel like instead of having to sit on the ground and not being able to get back up, he could build us a really nice picnic table or some sort of like fun um, Muskoka chairs or something to have this picnic and not a uh, thing. And yeah, I think we would have a lot of fun treats as well. And I think it would be a very nice picnic on a lake or in a mountain or on a farm. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere where it's not too hot and there's a nice breeze. And I just so. feel like right, they would find, he would find a spot for us, you know, like one of his favorite spots. And then he, he, I can learn something. I don't know. Why does he enjoy this spot? And he, he could serenade me as I'm eating during this picnic. See, there you go. He would just get down, sing. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right. So up next, we have Niall Horan from One Direction, one of my favorites, versus Jacob Underwood from O-Town, another favorite. Oh, let's see what we're doing here. Okay. a chocolate egg eating contest so we're gonna be like with a group of people and we're gonna try to eat as many chocolate eggs as possible who do you think would be better at you would want to do this with niall from one direction or jacob from o-town i think jacob from o-town um it's like a sneaky one almost right like it could be like an underdog almost so you think that he wouldn't Under do good an underdog right but I feel like he could win it for us. So I'm going to go with he's Jacob like Underwood. Competitive. Yeah, I think yeah. Jacob does have that competitive streak and he's kind of like underestimated and stuff. And he would uh, have a I strategy, think... like eat like a few here and then couple, like he, I think he would know what to do. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to go with Niall Horan from One Direction, even though I love them both. I feel like Niall is younger. I feel like he's more likely to want to eat chocolate. And uh, yeah, I think that I think that he could like really like go quick and our team could win. Feel like we got this. I think it also helps Jacob Underwood because he has children and you don't have oh. a lot of time when you're with children. You have to eat quickly. That's you know, that's a good point. That is a good point. And it looks like his help his wife cooks a lot of healthy things, so maybe he wants some chocolate. So yes. like because when you have no yeah. sugar, you want to eat lots of sugar. That's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. I still think Niall and I would beat your, you guys, but yes, 
I feel like it would be a close race for sure. Yeah. Okay. Up next, we have dun, 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 Donnie Wahlberg from New Kids on the Block. Lovely, Ooh. lovely. Love him. Uh, with Eric Michael Estrada from O Town. Ooh, I love both of these Ooh, guys. Ooh, love All him right. too. That's hard. Right, Donnie versus Eric. Let's see what we're up against. An Easter egg hunt. So going around collecting Easter eggs. All right. What are you thinking, Soph? I'm thinking Donnie Wahlberg will win this. I'm going to okay. choose him. I think he would have good strategy of where to go first. And by, by the two of us, we can get all the eggs and win the race. It's not a race, good. but... Basically, right. it technically it's a race because you're counting how many you're eggs you get the best. Got. Yes. Yeah. I I think this is a tough one, um, but I definitely think that I am also going to choose Johnny Wahlberg because I feel like Johnny is more enthusiastic. He loves childlike things, and I feel like he'd be good at like spotting things around and stuff like that. Where I feel like love Eric, but I feel like he's a little more chill. And I feel like he wouldn't be like, like, he is competitive, like, don't get me wrong. But I also feel like he's the type of person to kind of like sit back and observe people and things. So maybe he could like spot them well and stuff. But I feel like Donnie would be like in the thick of things being like, let's do this. Let's go. We're motivated. Let's grab these things. We got to like get it. So yeah. he would have good strategy, I think. I feel like Donnie would have good strategy for sure. So, all right. Two for Donnie. All right. Next up. We have dun, 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 dun. Howie D from the Backstreet Boys. This Ooh, is how we Howie. Do. Howie. 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 Uh, versus Nick Lachey from 98 Degrees. Uh, all right. The I was going to say something about the host. The Love is Blind. Have you watched Love is Blind? I only watched one episode. And only this meme that was on Twitter about okay. that guy who thought, um, or the girl was like, oh, I look similar to Megan Fox. And yes. then he chose her. And then when he saw her, it was like nothing like Megan Fox. She definitely did not look like Megan Fox. No, for sure. Um, yeah. So I thought I watched all seasons of Love is Blind, but apparently I missed season five. So I got to go back and watch that. But yes, basically, I was just going to say that Nick Lachey is host extraordinaire. So that's with his wife, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. Vanessa, I think her name is. Yes. Yeah. Vanessa Lachey. Okay. So it was Nick Lachey versus Howie D from the best. Howie D. Yeah. Yeah. How we do it. This is how we do it. Dress up as an Easter bunny. So Ooh. I don't know if he's dressed up or we're both dressed up. I think you should be like Easter bunny and girl easter bunny i guess yeah or whatever you whatever you feel comfortable in so would you rather do that with nick lachey or with howie i think howie would be a fun he would he would be like um make jokes i think i think nick lachey is a little bit serious That's so true. i'm gonna think i think howie is like more fun he, we could have like drinks as we're trying to put on the suit yep. i think we have a good time i feel like howie would make it fun I think Howie's like more like small Easter bunny size. Um, I think it would be funny to see Nick Lachey as the Easter bunny, like especially mm -hmm. if it wasn't like a full head and it was just like you put the teeth and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I think he would just look ridiculous and awkward. But I feel like Howie would definitely like go in on this and he would be like the drunken yeah. Easter bunny and like, yeah. yeah. So he would I make it a good time. Like it would be like a Mexican, maybe like a Mexican <laughs> Easter bunny. I don't know. Like it could be fun, right? Like yeah, no, definitely. He could like wink at you, or the bunny could be like salsa dancing back. I definitely think he would definitely uh, make it interesting. Did I ever tell you yeah. the time? So I went to my uh, my dad's friend Gino used to have like Easter parties at his house with all his nieces and nephews and then it would invite us over. So he got an Easter bunny costume to wear uh, while he was there. So he was like taking pictures of the kids and all that stuff. And then uh, my cousin Brandon was there and my cousin Brandon's a little. 
So then Brandon's like, I kind of want to put on the Easter Bunny outfit. So, uh, so Gino's like, yeah, okay, whatever. So he took it off and gave it to Brandon. So then I was saying to like the nephew and I was just like, oh, hey, like, did you like the Easter Bunny? And he's like, uh, I know that the Easter Bunny was Uncle Gino. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, he's obviously Uncle Gino in a costume. And then Gino was standing beside me and he's like, buddy, I've been here the whole time. And meanwhile, my cousin was out on the trip wearing the Easter bunny costume. So the kid was like, what the heck? Cause he like, for sure thought it was his uncle. Cause it was when he took the picture yeah. with him. So meanwhile, my cousin who is like very like, is fucking on the trampoline doing flips and like jumping around like, oh my God, the Easter bunny can like do all these met tricks on the trampoline. And then he just kind of like hopped out of the way. And I just thought it was really funny. So that I found feel funny. like in that, it was, it was, it was amazing because like the kid was all like, Pfft. I'm too cool for this. Obviously, it was Uncle Gino. What? What's going on? Like, <laughs> that is great. definitely funny. So I definitely think that Howie would be able to like embody the funness of the Easter Bunny in yes. his own jam. So yes, for sure. Yes. All right. Up next, we have Justin Jeffrey from 98 Degrees, Lydia's favorite member. <laughs> uh, with Drew Lachey from 98. I fucking, I love Aww, I love Drew Lachey. I love Drew. I said, I'm sad I didn't go to 90s con because I did want to see Drew again, but I'm like having PTSD from that drive back from 90s con last year. And I was like, I don't want to go just for one guy. Well, and Jeff was yeah. there, obviously. But, well, and we met Drew and as well. So I yeah, feel like we because met we've met him, we're like, okay, it's fine. Uh, some girl on the 90th con thing said that she was working with Drew that weekend. And I was like, oh, I got to work with him um, at Rewind Con. And then I was like telling her the story about how um, I was I was working Chris, Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC's table, but Drew was beside me and Chris was kind of off and stuff. And it was like dead. And Sophia was working, what, like three or four different people. You were like, yeah, they didn't have enough to have by the end of it. Yes, she was originally signed to Howie, but then the friends of the organizers pushed her out of it, and then she had to go yeah. do other stuff, and then the janitor from um, Breakfast Club. Club and stuff, so yeah. we are like, so yeah, so anyway, so Drew and I are just like hanging out, and I honestly, I wish I could remember what the inside joke was, but we were like cracking jokes, like at one point we're both like leaning our chairs against each other, so we're like leaning back to back, like we were just having like a really fun time, and there was some sort of inside joke that the two of us had had, but there was also like a girl who was like directing the line. So she, it was dead. So she was like, Oh, Hey, can you sign this? So he, she had to put it on our table for him to come sign. So we had to go sign it. Did he not sign the inside joke that we had? <laughs> so the girl was like all excited. And then she's like looking at it and she was just like, what does this even mean? And he's like, that's for you. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> and he looks at me in panic and I'm looking at him and he just like made up some stupid like thing about it and she's like oh okay <laughs> it was like looking at him like he had three heads but it was like the funniest thing ever and then Jeff was next to him and he was wearing this shirt that had all these like holes in it like, oh, you know, that was like funny. fancy expensive holes that you know you buy it that way and I said to Drew I'm like yo do you think that like his nipple ever like pops out of the hole and he's like I don't know. So now we're like staring at Jeff's nipples and Jeff like moves and his nipple popped out. And then Drew and I are like fucking dying and laughing. And then Jeff's looking over at us like, what the fuck's wrong with you two? And we're, uh, I did eventually tell him and he was mortified, but it was really funny. So yeah. Anyway, so we asked as, them to take pictures with the, um, the poster. Right. Yes. When we're doing seven the poster, seven poster. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So um, yes. Yeah. So anyway, so then, uh, no, so that has nothing at all to do with this story, but I was just like, love Drew. It was a good time, even though it was a shit show, that con. That, that con was certainly something, for sure. We need to, we should do an episode about it one time, if we remember. Okay, did we ever do so, an episode about that? Just, I don't think we did, because I think it was before we started the podcast. Okay. So all right, yeah. We should something, do it. Yeah. Maybe, do we that. remember everything? <laughs> I remember certain things, but yeah, I don't know. It's been, I also been remember certain time. things. I don't yes. think any of the like groups are up anymore, so it'd be hard to like. Oh, I guess we could read an article. I'm sure the articles are still on Google. Yes, I feel like the articles are still there. 
That, yeah. that is the that is the convention that caused O Town to write Shady Business because of yes, that which is a very good song as well. It is a great song for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. So we got Justin or Drew from Ninety Eight Degrees, and the Easter thing is uh, go to a chocolate making class. Ooh, so like I'm gonna pick fun little truffles and stuff, and I'm gonna pick Drew. I think he would be fun to make this chocolate. kind of class a fun time he would help make the chocolate very good i'm picking drew all right so i believe when we played the 98 degrees board game uh where justin was the answer for every question yes i believe i think they did that like him movie. basically yeah i feel like he's the only one who filled out the form um I do feel like he could probably do a good job, but again, I just really like Drew and I feel like I just yeah. want to spend more time with Drew. And I think he has kids or he works with kids and stuff. So I feel like he'd be very creative in like mm -hmm. making, uh, decorating the chocolate eggs. Did you, did you remember Zellers? Did you have Zellers? I did have Zellers. That was my go-to for middle school, for school supplies, everything. We bought everything there. So what they would do around Easter is they would have those hollow chocolate eggs and then they would yeah. have somebody who put the name on them. Uh -huh. So we used to get those. So I feel like that's what I'm kind of envisioning. So I feel like yeah. making, like chocolate truffles and like writing on eggs and decorating them and stuff. So I feel like, all right, Drew for the win. Woot, woot. Woot, woot. All right, next up we have <laughs> Kevin Richardson from the Backstreet Boys. Woot, woot. And Zane Malik from One Direction. So the dark haired gentleman. Let's see what they go with. Both kind of serious too, eh? They're both kind of. Yeah, say. but I. Yeah. Like, you know, Kevin could make it fun. Okay. So for Easter, which one would you like to visit family with? Oh. Well, since I know Kevin Richardson, because I've been a fan of Backstreet Boys for years almost years. 27 years, I think. It's been a long time. Yeah. Um, so I would choose Kevin Richardson. I think it'd be fun. Because it's as and if he I has a see, famous I cousin. I could see his cousin as well, Brian Literal. Kentucky Cousins, yep. For yeah. sure, for sure. And I'm sure they make good food. In the south, yes, yeah, good times. Good I times. think Kevin. I think Kevin uh, could show so, show us like his cooking prowess if he likes to cook or not. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Or maybe Kristen um, cooks the food. I don't know, but I think that would be cool. Yes, that would be very good. I'm just trying to look up Zane's family really quick. I feel like. Did his mom pass away? Mm, possibly. Or, or I'm not too sure there. about that one. Um, so as much as I would like to pick Zane because I feel like I could go to England and stuff, I feel like there's some I don't I don't really know anything about his family, but I feel like and then he his kid with one of the Hadids, isn't it? And then I feel like I don't I, I feel like it'd like be very type of high drama, drama there with I the mom. Feel like there would be a lot. Yes, yeah, so they probably wouldn't be spending Easter together, but I also feel like it could probably be very um, awkward and high stress to visit yeah. family there. Uh, and again, as you said, if we go visit Kevin, then at least you get two Backstreet Boys with that because of the family and all that stuff. Yeah. So I think I will also um, pick Kevin Richardson for that one. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right. It just, next. It's weird, like, because we don't know that much about One Direction, right? I like, feel like because One Direction came out after us, so I feel yeah. like we didn't really see a lot. We don't have experience with, with we them. We don't have a lot. We don't know as much about them as yes. others, so. I also feel like because Although, we spent a lot of time to with the other the one. Answer. Yeah, we yeah. had a lot of experiences with the other one, so that's why I think we the lean family, towards the one we know. You, so. yeah. yes. Exactly. <laughs> True. that's true i can, okay, I so can bring next, greek food as well you could bring greek bring some italian food all right, so, all right. uh ashley parker angel from o-town formerly of o-town and liam payne from one direction all right 
if Lydia was here, I know who she if would Lydia pick. Lydia was here, she wouldn't even care. But yes. yes, I don't think I put any sexy things in here. But yes, all right. I think right, our brains so... were just not working about sexy things, so I think we just did like whatever. Yes, I'm like, I feel like sexy and Easter doesn't really like go together. No, because it's, it's like a church people. thing too, right? <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah. Yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, so this one, I said. So this is different than the chocolate making. This is decorating Easter treats. So like mm. making like cupcakes or decorating like cookies, um, Rice Krispie treats, all that fun stuff. You know what? You know what I really love to do for Easter that I've been doing the last few years, which actually I don't remember if I did it last year. I found this a few years ago. So basically, what I do um, is I make a tray of brownies, right? So I have like the the metal tray. Is it with carrots? And Yes. So then yeah. the, so you make the brownies and then you put icing and then you crumble up Oreo cookies and you mix it in with the icing. So it looks like dirt. And mm -hmm. I have I've found recently that it's better to kind of mix the Oreo with the icing and not really put it on top because it kind of falls, but you can put a little bit extra on top. And then okay. I put like little, like um, the Cadbury Easter, uh, the mini eggs there. Yes. And then I take strawberries and I dip them into orange chocolate Mm -hmm. and then put them on top and it looks like a little carrot patch and it's super cute oh i remember I seeing like, this when you yeah did I, it. I sometimes yes. make them for like a, my friend olivia my boss michael like my family that's actually a good idea i should put that on for yes. family um anyway so anyway so decorating baking easter treats so are you doing it with liam payne from one direction or ashley parker angel from o-town uh i'm Note. gonna do it with Ashley Parker Angel because he could have his whole um he could be in his underwear making chocolate. Sorry, making what? Sorry, what was that? What was that, Judy? Oh, it's so true. It's so, so true. true. So you get a show and you then you're making show. decorations. I, I think that's a win-win. Things on his abs, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's a win-win for us over here. I feel though that I I almost feel like it would be bad to make it with Ashley because he's such a health nut and he's so like into fitness and making sure like he looks amazing and motivating people mm -hmm. that I don't know if this would stress him out to be surrounded by so much chocolate and I don't want to make healthy treats like fuck that shit. I'm but like, yes, he'll be healthy, but you can have a cheat day. So that could be his cheat day of making Easter true. treat. Plus, more treats will be left over for us because he's not going to eat them. So. <laughs> That's right. But if he does, it could be the cheat day for him, you know? Honestly, I just feel like it'd be more fun just to hang out with Ashley. He can sing. He can be goofy. He can do his own he thing. Can, yeah, he can take off his clothes. Like, whatever he wants. <laughs> it's true, but yes. Good. I feel like I needed to help Lydia. Like, I need to, like, I don't know. Lydia, Lydia's yes, here you're spirit. channeling your inner Lydia. I'm channeling yes. inner Lydia right now. Lydia's like, ooh, we could dip things in chocolate or something like that. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, let's let's be serious. We were never going to pick Liam. Sorry, Liam. That's, I know, yeah. Obviously, Ashley keeps that, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Up next, we have Robin Sink, Justin Timberlake, who we reviewed his album last week and... We're not the biggest fans, but not the whatever. It could be worse, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Joey Fatone from NSYNC. So we got NSYNC uh, versus NSYNC. Joey versus Justin. Do we even need to see what the option? I don't think so. I don't so. think it would murder, but yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Easter brunch. Would you rather have Easter brunch with Justin or would you rather have Easter brunch with Joey Fatone? I would have Easter brunch with Joy Fatone. He's Italian, Greeks and Italian. We would have lots of fun together. We would be loud. Oh, sure. It would be amazing. Be lots of family. There would be lots of noise. There would be lots of yes. good food. Good food. Um, the music will be playing. We could switch off Greek and Italian music. I think it would be a ball. That's too yes. Joey is amazing and super fun. And I feel like this would be a lot of fun. I'm yes. sure Justin would also be fun, but not as fun. amazing. I'm not, I'm sorry. I would not want to. I'm like, uh, no, I can't. I would rather a thousand times go with Joey. Yes. I'm very excited about. I know we've talked about it in the past, but uh, the AJ and Joey 
Legendary Night is coming up. So Sophie and I will be in Niagara Falls. We've not purchased our tickets yet. We need to do that very soon. But uh, mm -hmm. if you see us there, come check it out. So yes. So yeah. uh, and I've been seeing some clips and it looks like it's super hilarious and fun. So yeah, I think it's, it looks like a great it. time and I, I think we would love it. Yes. So uh, yes. All right. So we're both picking Joy Patone there. Ooh, All right. Ooh. Up next we have Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC, my man, uh, versus uh, Kevin Jonas, one of my favorite Jonas brothers. All right, mm -hmm. let's see what we're doing. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but the um, option is perform an Easter concert with so you and this okay. boy bander are going to perform an Easter concert. I okay. My decision is very like Kevin fast. and Chris. Yeah, Sorry, go. I yeah, would no, choose no, Chris Kirkpatrick right away. I think All he right. would make a fun Easter concert. All he right. would dress That's up. I, I think he would dress up to make it a good time. Oh, for sure. And I think he would have like yeah. jokes. I think he, yeah, I think it'd be a ball. I think it'd be amazing. So Chris Kirkpatrick, yeah, my choice. True. And Kevin is funny. I the reason why I laughed is that both Chris and Kevin sing the least in their groups. Mm. Like sometimes they, they don't even give Kevin a microphone. Like Kevin plays all the instruments and he does some stuff, but like, and I love Kevin and I think he's also entertaining and fun. But obviously, I obviously i'm gonna pick chris like hello, oh, it's, it's my husband sure, man. uh and you're right he would make it very funny he would have a lot of jokes he actually is a good singer if you people if you let him sing so yes, yeah he, good. he sounds so great a pop 2000 concerts uh he hosts and then he does like a little segment as well um sings with o-town a little bit by himself so yeah so i think that chris can basically make anything entertaining so not yeah. that kevin can't kevin jonas but uh I just think we know him more. So yes. Yes. Obviously we pick him. Yes. Okay. Next. I think we're up. biased as well because we've really had experiences with him, right? Yeah. And I've sung with Chris before um, when we were at that one convention in uh, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville? Fandom Fest. Yes, so we were saying living on a prayer together. And so, yeah. like, so I feel like it's fun and I feel like we would be good. All right. Next exactly. up. Exactly. We have Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. I love him. I miss him. He's I the best. Him in ages. Me too. Uh, and Joey, how long, did, Joey how long has it been? What? How long has it been since we've seen Nick? Yeah, it hasn't been that long, has it? Well, we saw him in November. At the November tenth and eleventh, right? Yes. So, but prior to that. I went to Nashville. Like, yeah, I haven't had, I didn't have any VIPs with him last year. You saw him at, uh, yes, I saw him at 90s con in Tampa. Oh, September. Yeah. 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 But it's been a while. That, I basically last saw him in LA when I went for Aaron's memorial. So I feel like it's mm. been a while. Yeah. Um, fun, funny thing that happened the other day with my Facebook memories. Um, cause like for a few years in March, Nick would do a bunch of shows. So we went and got saw him a few times, but uh, I guess it was eight years ago. Um, I was about to go on one of these road trips. So I'd sent a note out to my coworkers saying like, hey, you know, I'm going on this Nick road trip for March break. Uh, I'm going to try to recreate this picture. And it was like a picture of us like prom style, like really cute. So I sent that. So then my boss sent me back and said try not to recreate recreate this picture and it was nick's mugshot because he had yes. arrested earlier that year for drunken fighting and stuff like that so i'm like oh my god this would be hilarious so i printed it out and then our friend jen a was like oh yeah like nick's fine about the arrest like he's been making jokes in the concerts because she went to the few concerts before and we met her up we met up with her in boston uh so i was like oh okay did Nick make a joke about the arrest? No, he did not. Did he make a joke in Montreal? No, he did not. Did he make... So now we're at the last day and it's like this lunch and it was very stressful because our we were like running. We had just come back from Montreal. We dropped like Sophia and G off in the middle of downtown Toronto to go get us wristbands for the autograph signing. We had to go to the like lunch. We at the HMV, uh, yes, to get the CD. Yeah. We didn't accept credit cards. Yeah. 
So it was like a whole big like thing. And it was, that was an autograph signing, but it ended up he didn't want to sign. So it was just pictures, which was the cheapest autograph signing we've ever gone to, like photo op we've had. Uh, but which anyway, I so think is better. Getting a picture is way better than oh, an autograph. If you've oh, already had an autograph, you don't want another one, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so we're waiting at, so we're at this lunch and I'm like, shit, this is the last time I'm going to see him. Like besides the concert, I'm obviously not going to ask him the concert. I'm like, do I get him to sign this? And then everyone's like, no, don't get him to sign the mugshot. What are you, an idiot? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. So then finally I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. So he like came over and I was like, hey, buddy. And he's like, hey, I'm like, if I ask you to do something, like, will you be mad at me? And he's like, no, why would I be mad at you? And I was like, okay, because I want you to sign something for my boss, like to ask for a raise. Um, but you might not like the picture. And he's like, what? he's like, whatever. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll sign it. And then it was just like the mugshot. And he laughed. He didn't know. Yeah. And I was just like, he, I, he I gave him the bit of the backstory that my boss had sent me that picture. And he's like, okay, whatever. So he wrote it. So then in my Facebook memories, it's a picture of me like presenting my boss with the thing and him being like, no, you don't get a raise. It was just very funny. So <laughs> that was anyways. funny. Anyways, again, nothing to do with anything. And any then you on. took that picture and you went to Louisville, Kentucky with it. And he was like, oh my God, you got fired? No, oh, no. So what happened was, was, so this is what had happened. So I said to my boss, I'm like, this autograph is for you from Nick Carter. If I get fired, you have to give it to me. And he's like, okay, sure, whatever. Uh, so then my a few months later or a month later, my boss ended up getting fired because they did a restructuring. So as we were like cleaning out his office, I was like, I guess you can take it because <laughs> you're the one who got fired, not me. So when we were in Louisville, Kentucky, I was telling Nick and I was like, hey, just, you know, like, remember you signed an autograph for your mugshot for my boss asking for a raise? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, anyways, he got fired. He's like, he got fired. And I was like, he's like, I'm like, that's a really extreme reaction. He's like, he got fired because of me. I was like, what? And then I like replayed what I said and I was like, oh my God, no, he didn't get fired because of you. That was a segue to a different conversation. He's like, oh my God, is he okay? And I was like, hey, yeah, he's fine. And oh my God, God, it was so funny. Okay, well, let him know that like, I hope that he gets another job and whatever. So then we came back from Kentucky, I had lunch with Michael. And I was like, hey, Michael. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, um, Nick Carter is very concerned about you. And he like wishes you well in your job search. And he's like, okay, thank you. <laughs> So then a few months after that, he ended up um, getting a job in Toronto, very close to where Nick was doing like a VIP lunch thing. And I was like, buddy, you need to come and meet Nick Carter. I will pay for your lunch, whatever. And he's like, I can, I have meetings, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay. So then I got, so then I had a sign saying like, Mike, congrats on the new gig. And I had Nick like hold the side up so I took a picture and I'm like Nick Carter is very happy that you got a job so I sent it to him yeah. and he's like you're fucked and then a few months after that Michael um got me to go to Bell Media with him um so he poached me from the job so then I was going to see Nick in um Chicago no 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 it was Atlanta we went to Atlanta Atlanta and we were in Atlanta I was like hey I I don't know if you remember the story so i kind of gave him like the brief synopsis and i was like now i'm gonna work for him so can you just like congratulate him on working with me like his work wife again and he's like sure so then he like recorded this video and then like the monday after i came back i had to meet up with him in like um in castro to sign some documents so i signed the document saying okay cool i'm gonna work for the company and then i was like oh i have a message for you and he's like what does nick have to say and then i played the video and it's just really funny so if you look up like Nick work wife I have that anyways and it was uh, it's a very short. entertaining like, story it was very entertaining but I, feel like that, I feel like that helped Nick remember me because this was like over the course of like a year of like yeah. randomly me talking about my boss and had nothing to do with <laughs> and he's like oh it's that short little nutcase again okay <laughs> it was very entertaining uh, you know, it's a run out of things to say and have verbal diarrhea. Anyways, so uh, Nick Carter versus Joy McIntyre. Oh, well, we went on a tangent. Do. We're like, the memories just triggered a memory. Shocking, shocking. We went on a tangent, yes. Uh, face paint. So are we face painting with Nick Carter or Joy McIntyre? I'm going to pick Nick Carter. I think he would make some fun face paint or like we could face paint each other. 
I think it would be fun. Exactly. Or we can get somebody else to face paint us. For kids. Exactly. Yeah. So and then the, his, his kid would face. probably be there because he loves his family. So we could help him do that as well. I feel like that is a good thing to do. Uh, Joey McIntyre also has a family, also fun, yes. but obviously, obviously, are we like Nick Carter more? So, yes, so Nick we Carter is the best. time with him. So there you go. I, I know maybe like not for everyone. He's the best right now, but he is it. the best for us. Yes, for sure. All right. Up next, we have Lou. Louis Tomlinson from One Direction versus, why is this not cooking? JC Chazay from Instinct. Ooh, how many do we have All left? Right. All right, Louis and JC, who are we going to go with? Uh, we're almost done. There's like four okay. or five more, I think. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> well, this, this, this is. Um, one that I did not expect to put with this. I was just thinking of Easter and it came up. So um, who would you rather go to church with? What's the other one? Sorry, JC Shazain. Louis, huh? Louis from One Direction. I'm going to go with JC. <laughs> he seems to be the safe bet of um, going to church. Maybe he's okay, a safe option. Enough. I don't know about yes. the other one. Louis. Um, hmm. This is a very, I feel like JC is quiet. So I feel like that's good for when you're going to church that you want to. Yeah. But I feel like you could probably sing along to the hymns well. Um, I don't know. I when think I picked this one, like... I just thought for some reason Brian would come up and I thought it would be a funny thing. But then obviously that's not how this thing works. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pick Louis solely based on the fact that maybe he. He's in England and I used to go visit England and go to church. One of those like really fancy, like nice churches and stuff. So huh. yeah, I don't know. That's what I, I say. It's an Easter one. This isn't sexy. This is Easter. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think JC would be the safe bet to go. I feel like, yeah, probably. Yeah, for sure. All right. We got Lance Bass from NSYNC versus... Trevor Pennick from O Town. Ooh, I love. Ooh, both, both are great. Both are fun. Both are great options. Mm -hmm. It would be a hard decision. This is going to be a hard decision. Okay, so, oh, okay. This one is a very specific thing because I just tried to troll from my memory and whatever. Uh, who would you rather go on an Easter egg hunt with dogs? So dogs are with you, and you're searching for. The reason why is that this came up on my Facebook memories as well. So back in the day, they used to have um, Easter egg hunt for dogs. Yes, I remember this. a fundraiser for like dog things. And I would take my dog Stella and then my friends Pam and Mike would take their dog Oreo and I think just Oreo would come. Anyway, so then you would like with your dogs, you would go and you would find all the little plastic eggs and some of them would have little dog treats, but then you they would have like coupons or something that you would trade and get all this like cool stuff and it was like very cheap to do and they got like a lot of treats and stuff so um not a huge dog person my dog was very cute and little uh so yes yeah very what do you cute. think would be better to go easter egg hunting with dogs i think trevor uh, pennick would be fun to go okay. i think he would make it fun Trevor would make anything fun. He's hilarious. My God, did you see I don't know. I feel like I know more about Trevor than Lance. Although I think because like I followed Trevor more and he's like more outgoing, outbeat. Although Definitely. I guess Lance could do Lance could do it too. But for this, I, I feel think like, Trevor. All right. So I feel like Trevor would be really good at like strategizing and like making friends with other dog people and kind of whatever. It's not that Lance wouldn't. But I think I'm going to pick Lance on this one because he actually does have dogs and I don't have dogs anymore uh, and small children. And uh, I feel I feel like he would be like into it because I feel like Lance gets really into holidays. Like I know Halloween is his big holiday, but I feel like he could. And yeah. this would probably be like more high end celebrity Easter egg hunting where Trevor would be more chill. So I don't know. Both are good options. I think I'm just going to pick Lance yeah. solely because he has dogs. <laughs> That's why. No worries. I don't know. I just feel like uh, Trevor would make it fun. I think he would be into it too. Oh, for sure. Trevor definitely would be into it. Did you see? Did I? Did you see his 
the little talk show that he did with Marcus Monroe. Yeah, that was hilarious. So for those who don't know, uh, so Marcus Monroe, I met, I had never heard of him before, but he's a comedian from New York and he was on the Pop 2000 in Paradise. And him and Trevor are friends and Trevor now lives in New York with, uh, I don't know if they live together. I think they just might have. I just think he moved to New York. friends in New York. He yeah. moved to New York. And basically, um, they decided they were going to start this new talk show in which they order delivery food and then invite the delivery driver into their apartment to um, earn a tip and play a game show. So they had this guy deliver like a pint of ice cream and invited him in. And he, the sheer look of panic on this man's face during parts of, he just looked very jittery and like, are these two guys going to kill me? And like, well, I know it was, it was hilarious. It was very funny. And, and then he won, like they did like that game where you put like a ball under a cup and then you had to figure out where it was. So he won and he got the extra $10 bonus tip. And it was just really funny. So this is going to be like a segment yeah. they're going to start doing. So I feel like definitely Trevor is a lot of fun. So, yes. yes. Okay. Up next, we have Joe Jonas versus Harry Styles. So Joe Jonas from Jonas Brothers, Harry Styles from One Direction. And we are... We're going to take family photos. So we're going to dress up in our Easter finest and take family photos. So would you rather Who do that with Joe Jonas or would know. you rather do that with Harry Styles? I think Joe, Joe Jonas. Jonas. Yeah. Joe Jonas because, and Harry Styles. I think Joe Jonas because all the brothers will be there, um, majority of their wives, and, oh. and um, the fourth brother, his name is Frankie. Frankie! Yes. So I think it would be a fun photo. Oh, I really forgot about that. That's a good, that is an excellent point. Because Harry Styles, I feel, would have a more fun, flamboyant, like, outfit choices and things like that. And we could, like, be more Eastery. But I, you know what? I'm going to have to go with your logic here. And if it's a family photo with the Jonas Brothers, there's going to be all the Jonas Brothers there. So. Yeah. So, yes, See? so smart. Yes, yes. Yep. All right, up next we have Nick Jonas from the Jonas Brothers with Dan Miller from O Town. Ooh, both are good. Did I do this correctly? Okay, we are going to be decorating eggs. So we're going to put like the like painting or dyeing. We're going to put them in the different colors. Hmm? We're painting or dyeing. You know what? Whatever you feel, paint, dye, whatever. You're just gonna have right. a little hard-boiled egg think, and go for it. I think Dan Miller would make it fun. He has children. Yeah. I know. I think they both have children, but still, I think um, Nick is still pretty young. His child is still pretty too, young, yeah. so I think Dan Miller would make it fun to decorate the Easter eggs. <laughs> I agree. I feel like Dan would be a lot of fun with that. He's like a little wacky. He's a little, um, yes. yeah, no, I think it would be cool. I can paint some really cool and dye things and stuff. Uh, actually, did you know like that you, besides obviously dyeing Easter eggs, you can dye the fully cooked eggs afterwards. I'm going to recreate this. I made this several years ago for Easter in which you take like your hard boiled egg, or obviously you take off the shell and then you put it in the different colors and then you like let it sit. So it gets the color. And then you make deviled eggs from that. And it's like super cute and colorful. And oh, has, nice. Like, colored eggs and stuff. So awesome. Yeah, so making that uh, this year. So put another thing yeah. on your list. Look so at you. You, you know, so creative sometimes. Not you know? really, but that's basically, I don't know when we're going to have time to do that, but I will figure it out. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, actually, that was the, uh, those were the last options. So, All right. Yeah. That was so a fun game. We did a good job. Yes. Do you do any of those activities with your family for Easter? Let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, let us know who you would want to do these things with. So for sure. And happy Easter okay, to well, all who happy celebrate. Happy Easter, everyone, if you celebrate. And uh, we hope you have a great day. So uh, thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.